Uh, we had a cold front push through yesterday. Super high winds blew out the entire Galveston Bay complex. And it is cold. It got into the 30s last night. Right now it's 40 degrees in the 40s, the mid 40s. Um, yeah, it's time to do some cold water fishing. I got the wading pants on, wading boots. It is cold. Okay. I just gotta watch out for some of these swells. They get to like maybe a foot, foot and a half, and two of them in a row can flip the kayak. So just gotta keep my head on a swivel. All right, let's show y'all what we're gonna be using. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not paying attention, and then next thing you know, I get flipped over. The water is very, very shallow. I probably get away with jumping out of the kayak and uh, just wade fish the area. I mean, it's that's how shallow it is. The boat ramp was insanely shallow. So this is what we're gonna be using. It's a mirror lure bone top and a pinkish bottom boy i hate those swells let's uh, clip this off right here there we go get that off hurry up and finish tying this on and uh, we'll get started with fishing welcome back to the channel everyone if you're new welcome to mdlr fishing I don't like my chances, but we're gonna make the best of it. So hopefully we get a catch or two. See how shallow it is right here? Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's very shallow. It's not gonna work. It's a uh, massive shallow flat all the way around. I thought there may have been a gut right out there somewhere, but yeah, it's just uh, very shallow. Let's go, girl. Oh my gosh, she's suctioned to the sand. There we go. All right, let's hop in. Get out of here, y'all. Right in front of me is Churchill Bayou. This is the first time that I've ever had to hop out of the kayak and walk it in order to get in there. I don't know how deep it is, but we've made it. Oh, dang. Yeah, it's deep. <laughs> We're definitely inside the bayou now. I had one heck of a time trying to get here. And thank goodness the swells are gone. Oh. These are reds. Right here in front of me. They're cruising back and forth. Okay, um, trying to figure out like what's going to be the best bet for trying to get them to bite. There they go, right there. That's a really, really good sign to see. Check that out, small, tiny little shrimp. Sorry, buddy. Did not mean to do that to you. All right, so they had a, a really good look at this paddle tail right here. They just did not want to hit it. I'm gonna have to swap it out to something else. Yep, that was one for sure. Oh, not a good hook set. That was definitely one. First bit of excitement. 
man, they are hard to see. Whew, wow, okay, let's take a look and see what happened. Just not a good hook set, that's all. All right. One point redfish, zero points kayak. They're all up here. You can see the mud clouds that they're making. I just got to push forward just a little bit further. Just lost that one back there. Broke my line. knew they were in here oh wait that's a black drum okay I've been seeing redfish and this is the uh, this is a nice surprise oh no mark my hook gave way not a good hook set that is number two Everything's stacked against us right now, and I swear there's some un unseen force that's truly testing my patience. Redfish. Okay, we're on the board. Get in the boat so we can be on the board. <laughs> After missing two, I'm kind of happy to see you, buddy. He is most definitely been inside the freezer. Man. Is this... I don't know if my hook is as good. Yeah, I'm going to continue using it. Um, they're definitely wanting to hit the shrimp lure. But I think my hook is just bent out of shape. If we miss one more fish, then I'm going to swap out the lure. I'm reluctant to do that right now because they're like $5 each. Darn things are super expensive. I believe that's one right there. There's a small wake. Yep, that is one for sure. Boy, he didn't want my, he did not want my lure. Oh, he's still there. Oh, it hurts. Hurts whenever you can see them. You get them to bite, but yeah, no hookup. Oh, look at that. He's going back down that way. Tons of small baby grass shrimp. I call them grass shrimp because usually you see them in the grass, but tons of shrimp 
about half an inch to an inch in size. That's what he's going after. Oh wait, there's one right here. He's got to be right here. Literally got to be right here. And he was. Oh my gosh, not deep enough. That current from the tide is ripping, y'all. I mean, it's been it's been a nightmare trying to get one of these fellas, y'all saw. Oh, this is a big fella. He's pretty big. It just feels so good to finally stay patient and be able to get one. There's another one down that way. I just want to hurry up and let this guy go. I appreciate you, buddy. I mean, oh my gosh. It's been a tough day. I've been at it for hours. Freezing, freezing cold water. Oh, thank goodness this fella just bit, though. So gorgeous. Most likely 24 inches mid slot. All right, let's put this guy back. Let's see if we get a photo really fast because you don't take a photo, it never happened, huh? Okay, no, not video, photo. We'll see you later, guy. I won. I win. That's uh, that's what I'm going to consider this a win, uh, being able to catch one fish. If we get lucky, we can catch this other one. Oh, look at that. Gotta be him right there. It's still making these horrible casts. Yes. Nice, baby. This guy re didn't realize he was hooked. I thought I was going to get him in quick. Come on, buddy. No, I thought I was going to get him in pretty quick. There we go. Come on, turn that engine off. Breathe some of that air. There you go. Come, no, come on. There we go. Redfish number two, sticking with it. There we go. That's gorgeous redfish number two. And I think we're good. Yes. These tiny little shrimps are so tough. All right, I'm just going to stare for a quick second and, oh, right there. 
No. I keep forgetting that above the grass line, that wind is just catching my lure and my line and making me backlash. We've got some shrimp jumping right here. Nothing. False alarm. Oh my gosh, he, it wasn't. It was an actual <laughs> red. Oh my gosh. He's probably following my shrimp too. Oh goodness gracious, man. I can't make this up. There's another red fish up ahead. Here we go, right here. <laughs> oh. You can hear him. Oh no. <laughs> I was going to say you can hear him like <laughs> opening his mouth trying to like give it back to me. Oh man. Okay, I'm done with this one. I'm going to tie on the other lure. This guy is, I mean, he's caught so many fish, it's ridiculous. Oh, gosh, I should have just put the other one on a long time ago. I'm still trying to catch my third and final redfish. Goodness, man. Where is it, right here? That's what it is, y'all. That right there. Just need one more. That's it, one more. Oh, man. I thought I was gonna catch that fella for real. Good night. All right, yeah, I can't keep casting. I see them blowing up ever so often all along the grass line, but I'm about to run out of daylight, so I need to hurry up, beat feet back to the ramp. Wow, I certainly had all my chances, that is for sure, to come away with three keeper size redfish catch. Oh no, Mark, you cannot do that. There is some sand right there. Okay, let's put this away, hurry up, and get ourselves going. Yep, that is a bunch of sand. I can see a red right over there, but that small little gut is very hard to get into because of this sand. That water sure did come back in and fill up the marsh. In the event that I don't catch anything else, if I run out of daylight, whatever the case may be, um, just want to thank you all for watching today. It was it was a painful one for me, but that's the beauty of editing. I, you know, can get rid of everything. 
so that y'all can see catch after catch after catch. Really appreciate it. Uh, the setups that we are using today are two ultralight rods from Old 18 Outfitters. It's their buoyancy series, seven foot long. We have a 100 sized bait caster um, on both reel or on both rods and both reels are spooled with 20 pound braid and I'm using a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. Y'all saw the Savage Gear shrimp. That's certainly what they wanted to go after because the bank is just loaded with a bunch of newly hatched shrimp. It's pretty crazy. But that's just the way it is here in Texas. We do things different. All right, until next time, tight lines, y'all.